Hi, my name is Wong Chen Chung and my matrix number is 81524. I'm doing the self-reflection video for TMF1214 course and this is my content. So what is my expectation to this course is that my expectation is influenced by its name computer architecture. I think the course is learned about computer part it was learned about the components inside the part, rules and method to operate the computer system, moreover, interconnection of every part in the computer. Second, what do I think of the topics? We are going to understand the theory of number system. We are going to learn about the shared architecture among computer family. And I also feel that the topics are good delivery to me. Furthermore, the topic gave me a clear view of the genre of the subject, which is computer architecture. And the topics also consist of theoretically and practically. Next, did the course provide me that what I had hoped for? Yes, it does, because it consists of theory teaching and it consists of lab section. And the lab section able to make connection between theory and Practical. So this is the listing of each causes for lecture one, which is introduction to computer architecture. Through this lecture, we learn about computer functionality and understand the flow of operation. Next, lecture two, which is number system. We had learned the way of implementation of number system. And we also learn that conversation between digital and binary system. And the last, we also gain the way of storage elements and circuits. Furthermore, lecture 3, which is computer function and interconnection. It is a contemporary computer based on von Neumann architecture and it always obeying three key concepts. For lecture 4, computer system overview. It is all about computer memory and it playing a main role in the computer system. Also, it made me get a better understanding on computer system. For lecture 5, internal memory, there are several types of semiconductor mem memory. However, this lecture gives me an alternative pathway to elect the most suitable internal memory. For lecture 6, external memory. It is a general view of external memory and it helped me to elect the suitable external memory according to the needs and requirements. For lecture 7, input and output. It is a main component in computer system. And this topic gave me a clear idea on I.O. function. In addition, Lecture 8, which is operating system. It supports lower level software and it implements the basic functions in a computer system. For Lecture 9, Assembly Language and Computer Elementric. It is a high level of language and it does the calculation. For lecture 10, which is instruction set, CPU structure and function, it is talk about register and instruction cycle. So this topic give me a clear idea towards structure of CPU, which is central processing unit. For the last topic, which is lecture 11, is named Reduce Instruction and Computer, RISC. It talk about the characteristic of instruction set computer and also it explain about the comparison between RISC and CISC. So what is the most important ideas and concept learn or skills developed? For me, I think it's chapter one, which is an introduction to computer architecture. Through this lecture, we know that there is four main components in a computer system and it will elaborate more in the following lecture. So it gives me a clear mind map of functionality of the components. What is the impact of this course? It gives me a better understanding of a, a complete and complete 
computer system. And this cost make me get used to the working and interconnection in every part in a computer system. And I will make use of knowledge that I have gained in TMF1214. For instance, I am now able to custom a computer system that fulfill my requirements and needs. What is the like and dislike for me towards this course? I like the way of contacting because the course is consists of lab section which help me to implement my knowledge into real world project. And also the notes have a good organization to help me to memorize all the point easily. What is the only dislike for me is the contacting medium. For me, I prefer physical class than online lecture. That is all from me. Thank you.